It's time to dig a little deeper as we head down the bayou today to discuss a huge piece of Disney Parks news. Splash Mountain is being rethemed to a Princess and the Frog attraction. In case you missed yesterday's news via the Disney Parks blog, Disney has confirmed that Splash Mountain will be reimagined to a Princess and the Frog attraction. And as you can see by the concept art, the signature drop will remain intact. So guests can still expect to get wet, still expect to have that log flume experience, just everything else about the attraction will be reimagined in a New Orleans Princess and the Frog style. And they mentioned that this will not be a retelling of the 2009 film. As a matter of fact, they will pick the story up after the final kiss as we join Princess Tiana on a musical adventure featuring some of the powerful music from the film as they prepare for their first ever Mardi Gras performance. They go on to say that the retheming of Splash Mountain is of particular importance today. The new concept is inclusive, one that all of our guests can connect with and be inspired by, and it speaks to the diversity of the millions of people who visit our parks each year. Now, if you're a fan of Splash Mountain or just Walt Disney Imagineering in general, you might be aware that Tony Baxter was the lead Imagineer on the project many years ago. He will be involved with the new retheming, but he will not be leading the project. Charita Carter will be the lead Imagineer for the Splash Mountain re-theming to Princess and the Frog. And Charita actually helped lead the development of Runaway Railway and has been a member of Walt Disney Imagineering for 22 years. And she was quoted saying, like Princess Tiana, I believe that courage and love are the key ingredients for wonderful adventures. I am delighted to be a part of bringing this fun-filled experience to our guests. Now Splash Mountain itself has always been somewhat rooted in controversy because the characters that are in the ride are based off of the characters in the animated scenes of the 1946 film Song of the South. Song of the South has been a controversial film from release in 1946 when the film was released by Disney. The NAACP strongly disapproved of the film saying that quote, in an effort neither to offend audiences in the North or South, the production helps to perpetuate a dangerously glorified picture of slavery. The film unfortunately gives the impression of an idyllic master-slave relationship which is a distortion of the facts. Not too many years later, Disney all but confirmed that they felt the same way about the film, banishing it to the Walt Disney archives where it has been for the past 50 or so years. Former CEO Bob Iger, as recently as this past March on a shareholder call, was asked if Song of the South would ever be added to Disney Plus with a disclaimer about the outdated cultural depictions very similar to the ones that appear on other titles in the movie, such as Dumbo, Peter Pan, and The Jungle Book. And Bob Iger said, I felt for as long as I've been CEO that Song of the South, even with a disclaimer, was just not appropriate in today's world. Recently, there were petitions that were gone around asking Disney to retheme Splash Mountain to Princess and the Frog, one of which had over 21,000 signatures on it. Now, the petition itself was not the reason that the ride was changed, given that Disney did confirm that they've been working on this for over a year, but I'm sure petitions like this one, along with everything that is going on in the world right now, certainly helped speed the process up in terms of making the announcement. In their statement, spokesman Michael Ramirez said that the retheming of Splash Mountain had been in the works since last year, but nodded to its relevance to the discussions of race in America today. And in their statement, Disney mentioned that Splash Mountain will be rethemed in both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. However, they did not mention any renovations to the version of the ride that currently exists in Tokyo. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm going to miss Splash Mountain. It has always been one of my favorite attractions at Walt Disney World. But at the same time, I understand that it's time for a change and I'm actually excited to see what they do with this Princess and the Frog reimagining. Princess and the Frog is a movie that I always felt was underappreciated and didn't get enough love in the parks and now Tiana gets her own ride and I do think it's going to be really cool. And to no surprise, this has divided the Disney fandom. Some people love the change, some people really want Splash Mountain to stay the way it is and I will say this, this is not the first time that a ride is being reimagined without some backlash, for lack of a better word. When they announced that Tower of Terror was going to be a reimagined in Disney's California Adventure, people were very upset. Now we have Gardens of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, which in my opinion is a fantastic attraction and one of my favorite attractions in all of Disneyland. The same could be said for The Great Movie Ride. The Great Movie Ride was such a fan favorite and a staple of Disney's Hollywood Studios. Now Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway has introduced new technology and is a truly groundbreaking ride and something that is a must do if you're going to Disney's Hollywood Studios now. So as much as I'm going to miss the current version of Splash Mountain, it's a childhood ride, something that I grew up 
riding. I am definitely excited to see what Disney is gonna do in the future as far as bringing Princess and the Frog into the parks. One thing I do have concerns about is the location. In Disneyland, Splash Mountain is close enough to New Orleans Square that you can make the argument that it's just an extension of New Orleans Square. So I don't think anything really needs to be done there. However, at Walt Disney World, Splash Mountain is smack dab in the middle of Frontierland. And as we all know, Princess and the Frog takes place in Louisiana. So the theming doesn't exactly tie up with the land. And one thing that I saw earlier that actually makes a lot of sense, it came from DSNY newscast video. He made a really good point in saying that some of the surrounding areas near Splash Mountain might be rethemed to better fit that New Orleans, Louisiana lifestyle. And he even mentioned that there's a chance that maybe down the road, Pecos Bills gets transformed into Tiana's place. And for those looking to get one final ride on Splash Mountain in its current form, Disney did confirm that it will reopen with the rest of Magic Kingdom on July 11th, and that the retheming will be taking place at a later date, which has not yet been announced. So that is all the information that we know as of today. Of course, there's gonna be plenty of more information to come about this, so if you're not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so that you're up to date on all of the Disney news. We will definitely be covering this more in the future as more information is released. But like many of you guys, I am definitely going to miss Splash Mountain in its current form. I am a fan of the ride, but like I said earlier, I am definitely excited to see what Disney Imagineering does as far as bringing Princess and the Frog to life in a brand new way in the Disney parks. So let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think about the retheming of Splash Mountain? Are you a fan of the original ride and you wanna see it stay the way it is? Or do you think it's time for a refresh and a retheming. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below. And with that, we'll see you guys real soon.